Right, let's uh, talk about the beer guy. It is yeah. one of the most unmistakable sounds of sporting events and many outdoor events in Cleveland. We all know him, it's the beer guy. And the beer guy and his unique call, of course, out to fans to grab a cold one. Well, for a little while, Fans will not be hearing that at Guardians games, at least. Now, hundreds of Northeast Ohioans are showing support for the man who has served cold drinks and entertainment to fans. Yeah, it, it, he really is a celebrity he in is. the area. We've all seen him. Neil Fisher joins us now to share more about Les the Beer Guy Flake. Hi, Neil. Hey, good afternoon, Jay and Betsy. For 50 years, whether it's Progressive Field, Rocket Mortgage, Fieldhouse, the Brown Stadium, or Blossom, the beer vendor with the cold beer has been here in Northeast Ohio. That beer vendor's name, of course, is Les Flake. He's been doing this for 49 years since 1974, and he uses his legs to get to work and obviously to work. But last week that all changed. He fell in his house and injured his knee. Now he's unable to work the Guardian season and the summer season at, at Blossom. But more than 400 people have donated to help him go through rehab for his knee, raising more than $14,000. It's nice to know that people think that much of me, and, and I'm only in their lives for a couple hours, maybe during the week. Whether we've uh, talked with them or had a picture with them or just heard them at the game, um, and I think that's something that, you know, you know Cleveland you know, recognizes hard work, and they know that the guy's you know, been grinding for 49 years. Less the beer guy Flake partnered with Matt Van and the Jolly Scholar to sell cold beer here, a beer designed for a ballpark game. It has Flake's image on the can as well as some of his most notable quotes, including cold beer here, of course. Right now, Flake tells me that he's going to listen to the doctor's orders, get to rehab on Friday. It's unclear right now when he'll get back here to Progressive Field. Jay Betsy. Well, Neil, hopefully it's soon. Um, I'm assuming this 14000 has been raised through a GoFundMe page. Imagine, if you will, if every person still alive who has bought a beer <laughs> off less the beer, beer man right? going back 49 years. How many would you have to give? Just donate the cost of one beer to help him get through this difficult time. He'd have no problem at all. So hopefully folks can do that. The GoFundMe still up, Neil? Yes, it is. It All started right. Tuesday night and is already to above $14,000 now. All right, Neil Fisher, outside Progressive Field, thanks. Bets, I know Clevelanders. You know them well. Mm -hmm. We're generous. Right. We have huge hearts. I bet you that number climbs exponentially. So how weird will it be when you're listening to Hammy on the radio calling the Guardians <laughs> games and you don't hear beer guy here in the background? I know I mean, you're right. You hear him, yeah, and it's like, oh, <laughs> they're playing in Cleveland. Like usually, I'll turn on, like, oh, I don't know where they're playing. I just know they're playing. <laughs> That's true. And you, you know, as soon as you hear that that call. Well, Les, we're thinking of you. We hope you get well soon. The games will not be the same without you. But men fast, and uh, again, it's GoFundMe. I'm sure you can find it if you just search for Les, Les the beer guy, and uh, hopefully they can take care of him.